Hello and welcome to Fusion Fundamentals with me, MJ. Today we're going to be taking a look at how to make this strange shape. I'm calling it a water jug. It sort of resembles that. And we're going to be doing this by doing lofts, but lofts with multiple rails. And we're going to see how adjusting the rails can give us the desired shape. So follow along and see how you go. To start this off, we'll just draw a circle on the top plane. So I'm just going to push C for center diameter circle and draw it out to 100 millimeters. Then we'll finish sketch. I'm going to construct an offset plane. So construct, then I'm going to offset it from our top plane at 200 millimeters. We can see it up there. And okay. Now we'll create a sketch on that plane. This time I'm going to create an ellipse. And it's going to be snapped to the center there. And I'll make that 150 millimeters long. Oh, I pushed enter. So snap to the center, 150. Then you click. And we set the width. So I'm going to make that 55. Now we can push enter. Finish sketch. So I have to go create and loft. We can loft between these two. And you can see we've got a very. Um, not organic looking profile and not at all what I want. I'm going for sort of water jug kind of thing. Um, so I'm gonna accept that and just move back in the history over there. Turn my sketches on. I'm gonna create a sketch on the right plane. So now if I go P, I can project the geometry that we just drew in. Let's get the right angle and I'm going to use our spline tool. So I want this sort of bell shape over there. And we will mirror that. So L for line tool, construction line, and we'll draw this center line. Now that's just so that we can have a reference for any mirror. Create mirror and we'll mirror this line there. So now it's on both sides. Finish sketch. If I go over here and go back into my uh, loft, I can select rails. So you see now if I've selected one, both sides are actually going to assume that shape of that one rail. So now if I select the second rail, it will give me more the shape I'm looking for. Okay. So there we're getting to what we want. I'm going to add in a second profile now. So I've just gone back there, create a new sketch. Um, let's make sure we're selecting the correct plane. And P to project these lines. And now we can do some more splines. This time I'm going to have a sort of definite back and front of the jug. Or container, whatever you want to call it, a jar. Double click to exit that, and then this will be the pouring end. This is just a, it's a very strange shape, but just to give it a very clear front and back. Now if I move back in the timeline and double click on our loft, we can add in additional rails. You can see it's not adding it to the other side now, because we've got quite a complex shape. And okay, now we've got this very strange looking uh, organic shape that's got a definite, uh, I'm saying that's the front, definite two sides to it. Uh, let's turn off the sketches. To finish this one up, I'm just gonna add a bit of color and do a shell. So select shell, select the face you wanna shell and make it five millimeters. So now we've got our shell. I always like to put in a little fillet, so just smooth it out a bit. Two millimeter fillet, and then we'll change the appearance. So I'm just gonna push S and type in appearance, and we'll add our appearance. Now if I click on a face, I can drag it over, and I'll click on this outside face, and drag it over there, and then we've got the lip 
Let's see if we can get this on just a little. Okay, so there we've got two different blues, very slight, different, and that red, making this very strange little jug thing. But that's, that's the basics of uh, lofting with rails. Hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please like and subscribe. Leave a comment down in the comment section, or you can get in touch at fusionfundamentals at gmail.com. Until next time, bye.